question like this, you need to just, all you need to do is the following. We're trying to get to PS. So PS is over here. So what typically happens is we work in the other triangle. So we'll work in this triangle first and we'll try find the side QS because QS links us to this triangle. So that is step one. Work in this triangle here and find QS. Now, is that triangle 90 degrees? No, it's not. So we can't use the grade 10 formulas of sin, cos, and tan. You know, like the normal Sokotoa, where sin is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so we can't do that. Step two, try the sin rule. And so the sin rule is all about opposites. So we would like QS. So we could say QS over this angle. Now we could go work that angle out very easily because we know that the angles in a triangle must add up to 180. So we can say, and we must show this to the examiner, we can say that angle R is going to be equal to 180 minus alpha minus beta. And that's just um, sum of angles in triangle. So now we have that. So now we ha can use the sin rule because we have QS, and that's opposite this angle. And then we have angle alpha, which is opposite D. So we could say QS over the sin of 180 minus alpha minus beta is equal to D over sin alpha. Like that. Now, guys, let me show you a little trick. They, they like to do this. This 180 minus part, we need to fix that up. We know that the sin of 180 minus x, that just becomes sin x because sin is positive there. So what we do here is, and you need to remember this, sin 180 minus, we take out a minus as a common factor, and we'll be left with theta, uh, alpha plus beta. Can you see that? Because if we put a minus back inside, we would get the same thing. Now, the sin of 180 minus anything, as we saw here, just becomes the sin of that thing. So this is going to become the sin of alpha plus beta. And that is how they get the alpha plus beta in their answer. So let's just quickly fix that. So QS, and you can do that every time. They're going to do that a lot in the exams. So you can say sin of alpha plus beta equals to D over sin alpha. We then want to get QS alone. So we multiply the sin alpha plus beta up. And so you're going to end up with D sin alpha plus beta over sin alpha. So step one is complete. So now we have QS. So now we can work in this triangle to try to find PS. Step one, is that triangle a 90 degree? Yes, it is. So you don't have to use the grade 11 and 12 formulas. You can use the easier grade 10 formulas, which is just sin, you know, like sin is opposite over hypotenuse and things like that. You can use the grade 11 formulas, but it means you have to do a little bit more work. So try get into the habit of using the grade 10 formulas when there's a 90 degree triangle. But as I said, if you don't, you will still get the same answer. All right, so we're trying to find PS. Now look how easy this is. We would like PS, we have this angle. So PS would be the adjacent and we have the hypotenuse. So that is just cos. So we can say cos theta is equal to the adjacent, which is PS over the hypotenuse, which is QS. And so if we're to rearrange this, we'd find that PS should be equal to QS times by cos theta. Now we can plug QS in, so that's D sin alpha plus beta, and then there's a cos theta over here, and then that's all over sin alpha. And there's our answer, guys.